Timekeepers, office managers, and payroll approvers have access to various payroll reports. These reports can assist with reviewing payroll for accuracy and auditing purposes. The following video will take you through the steps of running a payroll report and what to review. Before you start, be sure to have the latest web browser and Java update on your computer. If you have any questions, contact your campus or department IT tech. To begin, log into Oracle. From the main menu, select OTL Time Card Approver if you are a principal or department head. Select DISD Campus Time Entry if you are a timekeeper or office manager. Navigate to Request. Click on Run. Select Single Request and click OK. Type the name of the report or select from the list of values for the report name. In this example, we will select the report name DISD Employees Not Checked In. Fill in the parameters. When filling in parameters, be sure to complete each required field and include the approver's name. Fields in yellow are required. Though some reports may only require you to enter an approver's name, others may require you to enter dates, time periods, and locations to retrieve the requested information. Click OK and Submit to run the report. Click on the Refresh Data button to update the status of the report. If you receive a status error, run the report again and check the parameters entered. Once the phase is complete and the status is normal, click the View Output button. The report will open in a new window browser. The DISD Employee Not Checked In report will list the employees who have not clocked in on a specific day. Timekeepers, office managers can run this report every morning to ensure that all employees have clocked in for the day. If an employee appears on the report and is scheduled to work, notify the employee and have them to clock in at the biometric clock. Now that we have completed the steps on how to run a payroll report, let's take a look at other reports and what to review. The DISD Checked In Employees Report lists the employees who are clocked in or have clocked out using the biometric clock on a specific date. It gives the exact time the employee clocked in or out. The report can be used to determine which employees are reporting to work late and or leaving early. It can also be run for the current date. The DISD Biometric In and Out Completed and Attempted Report verifies if an employee has attempted to clock in or out. It includes failed transactions and completed transactions. This report is useful when an employee states that they cannot clock in on the biometric clock. If the employee's name does not appear on the report, no biometric clock attempt was made. If an employee is having problems clocking in, they can visit the Application Training and Support Department located at 9400 North Central Expressway, 10th floor in Dallas, between the hours of 2.30 to 4.30 p.m., Monday through Friday. The DISD Active Employees Start and Stop Time Information Report is used to review the start and stop time and lunch deduction for each employee in your department or campus. Reviewing this report will ensure that the employee's start and stop time are correct and or if changes need to be made. Only the principal or department head have the responsibility to change an employee's start and stop time. The DISD Monthly Non-Exempt Employees with Less Than 40 Hours Report must be audited and corrected prior to the payroll being approved. 
all monthly non-exempt employees must have a total of 40 hours per week unless there is a DISD holiday. If the employee has less than 40 hours for the work week, he or she will need to complete an attendance form to correct the clock in and clock out time or use the employee's PTO for the missing time. The DISD non-exempt employees with less than 40 hours report must be audited and corrected prior to the payroll being approved. All non-exempt employees must have a total of 40 hours per week unless there is a DISD holiday. If the employee has less than 40 hours for the work week, he or she will need to complete an attendance form to correct the clock in and clock out time or to use the employee's PTO for the missing time. This report will also generate in an Excel file which is emailed to the requester. The DISD time clock detail report lists the time and dates the employee clocked in using the biometric clock. This report also indicates which biometric clock was used. Review this report to identify any employees who have days missing or hours less than eight for workday. The non-exempt employee must account for any missed time less than 40 hours for the work week. The DISD audit supplemental pay report should be reviewed to ensure that all of the supplemental pay transactions are accurate. The report will include all of the manual entries entered by the timekeeper, entries recorded through TMS, and the entries from the biometric clock. Make sure to verify the line code information. Run this report before payroll approval to make your corrections. After the transactions have been approved, run this report again. In the parameters, change the status to NA. Any transactions that show a status of NA means that there are supplemental pay items that are not approved. Timekeepers, office managers will need to request supporting documents to make corrections. This step will need to be repeated until all transactions are approved. If the report is blank, there are no outstanding supplemental pay transactions pending approval. The DISD Supplemental Time Clock Detail Report should be reviewed to ensure that employees are using the appropriate assigned activity code. This report will include the employee's name, ID number, total hours worked for the day, the clock in and out time, and the location of the biometric clock used to clock in. Make sure you review the biometric clock used to clock in and out for any discrepancies. If the hours appear as .10, that is an indication that the employee did not clock out using the activity code. The employee will need to submit an attendance form to have the correction made to the time card. The DISD time card pending approval report is a summary data of employees' time cards. It reflects the total hours for the pay period and also gives the total number of employees being reported for the pay period. The status column will indicate if the employee's time cards are approved or not approved. Before time cards are approved, this report should be reviewed for accuracy. As you are running your payroll reports, keep in mind to enter the correct information in the parameters. Payroll reports should be run and audited on a daily and weekly basis to avoid missing the payroll deadline and minimizing the use of correction forms. Keeping accurate payroll data requires frequent monitoring. Establishing an organized routine and running your payroll reports will help minimize discrepancies when submitting time cards and supplemental pay transactions to payroll. For more information on training, please browse our payroll department webpage and click on additional resources.